All right, another great feature that just recently came out with Go High Level is the ability to use artificial intelligence AI with uh, the ability to auto reply to Google reviews and Facebook reviews. And we're gonna go over that right now. Hey, Paul Kim here, and I am a huge enthusiast. I'm a huge component of Go High Level because I use it in my business every day. And my goal is to share with you the various features, and hopefully you get to use Go High Level for your business as well. Now, before we get into this feature, I want to talk about just quickly why reviews and especially Google reviews is so important and why replying to these reviews is also are important for your business. Okay, number one, reviews build credibility. Okay, and, and when it comes to Google reviews, it helps your local SEO. And so that's why um, we strongly emphasize reviews as one of the things that you should be doing with your business every single week, every single month. All right, number two, when you reply to people leaving reviews, it shows you care about your credibility. It shows that you care about the customers. And then when it comes to Google, especially when you're responding to Google reviews, it is engagement in the eyes of Google. So uh, engagement is, it helps with your local SEO. It also is telling Google that um, your business is engaged with the the people that are leaving your reviews and and Google likes that so ultimately and that's why uh, especially when it comes to Google leaving reviews customers leaving reviews and you responding to them is so critical and so with this new feature on go go high level it's so important because number one it gets it done right most businesses out there especially when you uh, we're talking about local small businesses they're just too busy. And even somebody leaves a review, unless you have somebody dedicated to uh, leaving reviews, it's not going to get done. And so um, this feature enables you to help local businesses and it can help your business as well if you're using Go High Level for your own business. All right, so, uh, so let's get right into it. And uh, I'm going to share my screen so that we can take a look at how you turn it on. Uh, under agency, under the agency, and then we'll talk about the various features of the auto reply with AI. All right. So once you're logged into your agency account for Go High Level, you're gonna click on settings, which should be on the bottom left-hand corner. And then once you're on that screen, you should see company. And when you click on company, you scroll down, and you will see reviews AI right there. Now. Uh, once you click on and toggle this to the right, it will have this blue shade, and that means that Reviews AI is now toggled on, and it's on for all of your account, sub-accounts. Now, one thing to make note of is that once you toggle that on, all of your sub-accounts will be enabled for Reviews AI, and it will be turned on with um, the auto, um, responses turned on so just be aware um, you know if you don't notify your customers that they're going to um, you know it, that review option will automatically be set for auto mode and so just be aware um, if they do a lot of reviews then you're going to get charged accordingly okay depending on whether you have rebuilding on or you're paying it out of your pocket just be aware of that so once you have that on, you will go to Reviews AI here, and this will show you all of the sub-accounts. Um, this will be all enabled, and uh, I actually enable these three, top three, and that's why you're seeing over here. So I'm on the Pro Plan, which has the rebuilding capability. You may not have that if you don't, if you're not on the on the highest plan. Now, um, so let's that's pretty much it. So that's how you know, you enable, disable all of the AI, review AI and uh, enable, disable, rebuilding. Now let's go to one of my accounts. This is my own account uh, for K Madison. And I have this enabled and uh, I don't have rebuilding uh, enabled. So just letting you know, I'm gonna show you where um, it's gonna show free, but it's not free technically because I'm being charged 
but because rebilling is not set. Okay. All right. So now when in my sub sub account uh, for my my agency, I click on reputation and in order to access the settings for the different uh, two modes, which is suggestive and auto uh, auto mode, or they call it auto reply. Um, you click on this and you have the ability to turn it off here and I'm going to save it. So now I have it turned off. So um, what I would do is, you know, depending on how, if you're, you know, uh, notifying your customers one by one, you would turn it on and I would turn it off. And then um, depending on whether they want suggestive or auto reply or you give them the option. Okay. So let me just go and share this. So let's just say you put on suggestive and you put, you click save and then click back and then you go to the reviews tab here now this um as you can see right here is ai reply for free now i'm going to click on this even though i already wrote a review here i'm going to click on this and type click on auto and as soon as you click on it it's going to generate a review and so um I've tested it multiple times, and the re um, the reply that it gives is is pretty uh, pretty good in my opinion. Um, now you know, comparable to others, you know, you can go and do your own testing. But um, I thought it was very good uh, based on uh, what I do for my business, and it was pretty good. And now, if I want to send it. Um, and post it, then I click send. I'm not going to do it in this case because I already responded to it, and so. Um, one thing I want to make you aware is that once you click send, you don't have the ability to respond or edit the reviews. So in order for you to do that, you either have to go directly to Google um, Business Profile or go directly to your Facebook page to edit those reviews. So you don't have the ability to review. But um, now the other um just going to get out of this and go to settings and when you set it to auto response now this is what's awesome about this so that you have the option to select whether you want um, to auto respond to google uh, or facebook or both right and so once you click on click that on then it will um assuming that you have it integrated to your system right to to this go high level and then if you want to auto respond four stars, uh, maybe if somebody gives you three stars, you don't want, you want to go in there and and, and address it um, and uh, make sure that, you know, you try to fix that. So four star and above, you click on this and then wait time before responding. So you don't want it to go immediately and, and, and post a response. So then uh, maybe uh, put in there, uh, it gives you the ability minutes hours uh maybe one hour you want it to be one hour and then here um, at the bottom of the footer maybe you want to put your name or the company and so that way it uh, they make it a little bit more customized to your company okay and then you click on save and it will automatically reply to those comments based uh, using ai now just to keep things in mind that uh, one of the things as you can see here I'm going to turn this off for now and I'm going to save it and I want to go back and one thing um, here as I um, this was actually done uh, I believe it was through through um, this was back September so it might have been done by one of my staff member and so one of the things that you want to you know train your staff if you have a staff doing it or you have uh, the AI doing it it's going to automatically respond uh, respond to the the name of the business or name that it's there so for example um, here uh, it's gonna reply like it was it would say you know hi Kevin Majeski all right so what you want to make him you know your your response is a little more personal and more deep meaning you know meaning that uh, you know if you know a person more personally then you want to go that go write a reply uh, with their first name right hi kevin in this case i know she's c sharp video the name of the owner is christine and i would 
uh, probably go in there and I'll modify it and I'll write, hi, Christine. Thank you so much for your kind, so forth and so forth. So uh, one of the things I want you to keep in mind, please go in there and I would, even if you're using auto, uh, auto mode or auto reply, go in there and go every once in a while, go check in there and just uh, rep modify so that it, it fits your brand, it fits your personality, it fits who you are as a whole and modify it accordingly, okay? All right, so let's look at it from three point of view. Um, from a perspective of, let's say you're a local business and you are you using go high level in your business. And so the, you know, the main concern when you think about this is, you know, because reviews AI cost eight cents per review. Um, do you write your own reply, which most likely is not going to get done, right? Or do you have your staff or yourself use a, you know, free platform like ChatGPT? Now that means that you actually have to go into that account, write it up, copy and paste the review, and then see the response, and then copy and paste that review onto Goha level. Now, in my opinion, that is too cumbersome. The fact that it's there, I would, you know, incur that cost. The time it saves is probably worth it, in my opinion, but that's up to you to decide, right? Now, if you are a, uh, a marketing agency and you're using Go High Level to, um, you know, provide a service to your clients, maybe doing review uh, reputation or review management. And so if you include that, then you would, of course, I would put that into the cost of that service and for a certain number of reviews per um, per month or something like that. Because um, um, I wouldn't necessarily charge the client for every single reviews. Um, so that's probably better you know, if, you, if you're providing that service. Now, the third is if you're, uh, pr if you're doing and selling this plat as a platform, um, as a go high level, then there's, you know, basically, uh, I would turn it uh, the feature available and whether you use, um, you know, tell the clients about it and let them know the cost associated with it. Now you can either do it or just um, a flat uh, cost of what you get charged for, which is eight cents, or you can rebuild um, and make a, a, a margin on it. So that will depend on how you're pricing the how you're pricing the package, and um, you know there's a lot of factors involved. But those are three things, uh, point of views that I wanted to discuss before uh, for this video. Um, let me know in your comments below how you're going to be using uh, the reviews AI, and you know if you have any questions, write them in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching the video, and uh, see you next time. Bye.